Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose R, S, and T are relations. R from A to B, S from B to C, and T from C to D. Then T compose S compose R is equal to T compose S compose R. Now, before we begin this proof, I would like to write some notes down. First of all, we're given that R is a relation from A to B. We're also given that S is a relation from B to C, and T is a relation from C to D. Now, no notice that R is a relation from A to B, and S is a relation from B to C. If you recall from composition of relations, this means that S compose R is a relation from A to C. And similarly, since S is a relation from B to C and T is a relation from C to D, we have that T compose S is a relation from B to D. Now, taking this a step further, notice that R is a relation from A to B and T compose S is a relation from B to D. So T compose S compose R is a relation from A to D. Similarly, we have that S compose R is a relation from A to C, and T is a relation from C to D. Therefore, T compose S compose R is a relation from A to D. Now notice that these two sets are both subsets of A times D, which is what we would expect because we're expecting these two sets to be equal, so they should be subsets of the same sets. Now, we wrote this information down because it's going to be useful throughout our proof. So let's actually get into our proof. Notice we're trying to prove that two sets are equal. So what we can do is we can show that everything in this set is also in this set, and everything in this set is also in this set. Let's start by showing that everything in this set is also in this set. To do so, let's consider an arbitrary element of this set. Now, everything in this set is an ordered pair because everything in this set is part of a Cartesian product. So let's say that our arbitrary element of this set is the ordered pair A comma D. Now notice, we are an element of a composition, specifically a composition of R and T compose S. Now, R is a relation from A to B and T compose S is a relation from B to D. So B is our intermediate set. What does it mean for this to be an element of a composition? Well, it means that we can choose an element in our intermediate set B, say B, such that A comma B is an element of R and B comma D is an element of T compose S. Now notice, again, we have something that is an element of a composition. And this composition contains S and T. Now, S is a relation from B to C, and T is a relation from C to D. So our intermediate set is C. What does it mean to be an element of this composition? Well, it means that we can choose an element in our intermediate set C, say C, such that B comma C is an element of S, and C comma D is an element of T. Now notice, at this point, we have essentially taken our original ordered pair and broken it up into three ordered pairs, A comma B, B comma C, and C comma D. Now what we're gonna do is we're essentially gonna glue it all back together. But we're gonna glue it back together in a different way than we broke it up. You see what I mean? Notice that we also ended up breaking the ordered pair B comma D into two ordered pairs, B comma C and C comma D. Well, instead of gluing these pieces together, we're going to glue together these two pieces, right? Notice we have that A comma B is an element of R and B comma C is an element of S. So we can think of the element B as our intermediate element. 
And it turns out by composition of relations that A comma C is an element of S composa. Now notice we have that A comma C is an element of S composa and C comma D is an element of T. So we have A comma C, C comma D. So in this case, we could think of C as our intermediate element. And we can say that A comma D is an element of T compose S compose R. So notice, we started with an arbitrary element, A comma D, of this set. And we showed that same element was also in this set. Right? And since it was arbitrary, that means everything in this set is also in this set. So at this point, we have shown that everything in this set is also in this set. Now we're going to show that everything in this set is also in this set. To do so, well, let's consider an arbitrary element of this set. And by the way, everything in this set is an ordered pair, because everything in this set is also in a Cartesian product. So let's say our arbitrary element of this set is the ordered pair A comma D. Now, we're essentially going to do exactly what we did in part one. We're going to break this ordered pair up and then glue it all back together. So notice, we are an element of a composition, specifically a composition of S compose R and T. Notice that S compose R goes from A to C and T goes from C to D. So C is our intermediate set in this case. So what does it mean to be an element of this composition? It means we can choose an element in our intermediate set C, say C, such that A comma C is an element of S compose R and C comma D is an element of T. And notice, again, we have something that is an element of a composition. In this case, our composition contains R and S. Notice, R goes from A to B, and S goes from B to C. So our intermediate set in this case is B. So what does it mean for us to be an element of this composition? Well, it means that we can choose an element in our intermediate set B, say B, such that A comma B is an element of R, and B comma C is an element of S. So at this point, we have essentially taken our original ordered pair and broken it up into three ordered pairs, A comma B, B comma C, and C comma D. So now we're going to glue it all back together. But again, we're going to glue it back together in a different way than we broke it up, right? Notice, we also ended up breaking A comma C into A comma B and B comma C. So instead of gluing these pieces back together, we're actually going to glue together these two pieces. B comma C and C comma D. So notice we have B comma C is an element of S and C comma D is an element of T. So we can think of C as our intermediate element. So really we have that B comma D is an element of T compose S. Again, this just comes from the definition of composition relations. Now notice we have that A comma B is an element of R and B comma D is an element of T compose S. So we can think of B as our intermediate element. So really we have that A comma D is an element of T compose S compose R. So notice we started with an arbitrary element of this set and we show that same element is also in this set. Since it was arbitrary, everything in this set is also in this set. So notice the two things that we have shown here. We have shown that everything in this set is also in this set, and everything in this set is also in this set. And that amounts to proving that the two sets are equal. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much the idea of how you could prove a theorem like this. Right. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.